Good morning, everybody. David Atkins, Target Individual. Today, I'm going to talk about remote neural monitoring because I feel like it needs to be readdressed on what's going on here. Um, I've been hit very, very hard with B2K lately, terrorized um, um, along with the weapons attacks. Uh, pretty, pretty bad vibration shocks to the back of the head, um, head heated up, profuse sweating all the time, 24-7. Um, thank God it's not going on right now. Um, so I'm going to take time to do this video while I can. Um, so the verse for today will be, um, come from Philippians 4, be anxious for nothing but in everything, prayer and supplication, let your request be made known before God and let the peace that passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. So be anxious for nothing, but put everything on, on, you know, try to try to be stay positive in this. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make positive stuff out of every day, even though they want us to be negative. They want us to associate everything negative. So just try to associate stuff positively and try to be positive. I know it's hard, but what else can we do? You know, shielding don't work. Uh, stuff don't work. So you got to do what you got to do. So here anyway. Let's go deep into remote neuromonitoring. Many targets have been tactically murdered by mental care and intelligence using remote psyops. Myron May, Aaron Alexis, Tristan Vander, this, she claimed to be a targeted, she claimed to be targeted. These mental care employees especially claim to help their target, but the real goal is to interrogate and provoke continuously until the target gets a nervous breakdown. This is the moment they can try to reprogram the target to their likings. If that fails, they will try to kill the target by giving an accident, put a target against another to kill, either induce suicide. This mass control and depopulation methods can be applied when a large group of mark, people mark someone in society as out of the ordinary. When such Stasi Zetzer's own programs are started by community police and InfraGuard groups, they abuse mind control tactics and this pattern together with theater to label the target mental, fraud, crazy, danger to others or himself to get access to such a psyops either two ways it goes they want you to live shorter there are many methods to remotely kill with the new neural technology the most common method they use is over time by metal medical degradation organ failure physical and mental diseases induction by control and altering brain waves and inducing stress depression overthinking by auditory brain speech recognition overloading that one continuously 24 7 this hitler stasi Stasi Zetzer Zong is played till the victim dies with remote neuro monitoring combined with street theater and false accusations. Such a cybernetic hive mind team using brain computer interface, computer brain interface decoders, and instructions while threatening can be seen here with their Hitler hand in the air. Now, I can't show you the picture. It causes heart, hold on, causing heart to flutter in a way that monitoring is not picking up the attacks going on for years until the heart problems arrive and other organ failure with kidney and liver problems mostly. Waking by pain to ears and chest with the heart entrainment into a rapid flutter, sleep deprivation accomplishes the objection of memory loss during remote interrogations and induces hallucinations which help the interrogation process. In behavior modification and programming, it is necessary to the idea is to shake up the emotional state of the target because different information can be accessed at each state, making the target feel despair and helplessness is the objective. Memory erasure is an important technique during the interrogation. It's used in combination with sleep deprivation. Pain and fear of the death are common tactics, which is why they target my heart and cardiovascular system and any other internal organs with soft kill, slow kill, silent assassination through adapt amplified neurons. There are many techniques to induce extreme fear in the target. Fear of death is a crucial element of CIA, DIA, mind control technologies. Get over the fear of death and their technology is minimized. All they have left is torture. Remember that many targets of torture die from the physical effects of the trauma. It is torture to death. Victims die premature deaths from physical effects of trauma to their or internal organs. In no touch direct energy torture microwaves, the targets driven from their friends and family using different techniques in order to isolate them so that the electronic mind control has more effect on their psyche. Part of the method involves slander in the community based on deception and manipulation, which include lies and manufactured evidence, which is quite easy to achieve with someone who's been tortured to near incoherency. Functional disorientation with this technology. 
convince the neighbors the victims of drug dealer, rapist, terrorists, etc. Targeting individuals end up for the most part in poverty and paranoid about doctors and other people from false correlations that are purposely induced into their lives. Isolation is a form of sensory de deprivation, which is why they target people uh, so heavily in churches and other uh, groups. When you go to church or something and you're a target individual, they'll target you heavily to keep you from going to anything positive. Days and weeks begin to lose their meaning, no support network, etc. In no touch torture, behavior modification, they might try to make the atheist believe in God or vice versa. It's just a mechanism to alter belief systems for control and experimentation and learn how to subdue or radicalize a group of people, belief system, and determine what a person or group of people can maintain as truth. Verbal breakdown with V2K, synthetic telepathy, and street theater and cyber theaters can be crucially important during interrogations and torture. They must capture the attention or active memory of the victim at regular intervals or their technology fails. They must constantly provoke you to keep talking, listening, watching, etc. in order to, for technology to work properly. The victim must play the game. Repetition is an important neuro-linguistic programming interrogation tactic to influence the, target, the target's mind. Chatterbots, an artificial intelligence special language software program, automate much of the repetition so that the interrogators or hive mind teams don't drive themselves crazy during the neuro-linguistic torture and programming phases. Repetition is torture. And no-touch torture, direct energy torture, the target's brain is forced to release dopamine, which causes pupil dilation, increases paranoia, and other terrible effects. Anything that involves maximum pain is the objective. No-touch torture, direct energy tortures can be done wirelessly, remotely, into the human mind. All forms of sickness can be mimicked without real illness behind the suffering. All suffering can be entrained into the minds of no-touch torture subjects. Disorient and confuse the target. Use them for their purposes and then dispose of them any way possible. One can only surmise what disposed means. Prison, suicide, perhaps a mental hospital. Coercing and torturing people to suicide is very common. Both tactics and physical and no-touch torture involves plausible deniability and indirection, etc. The psychological and perceived physical pain is only half the story with no-touch torture. It involves a set of scripts, mind games, if you will, to walk the target to murder, suicide, or set up entrapment into prison or mental institution. This is called hypergame theory. It's used in war games to determine how to control your enemies and targets. They force their victims to commit suicide by the remote and remote supercomputer temporary overpowering impulse sequencing, their motivational impulses. It's called omega programming. Omega programming is suicide programming. Innocent men and women and children are being tortured and murdered every day for the purposes of training, research, and development in the CIA DIA mind control technology. The CIA and SA perps are using a fabricated falsified stream to interfere with your memory and thought process. Once you become dependent, which means you believe their impulse injections are your own or on the system's output, or they believe your responses to it are consistent, they will begin to fabricate subconscious responses, which they will pretend are indicators of honesty, dishonesty, positive recognition, anxiety, etc. And they will use these impulse injections to convince you that the fabricated responses are your own. If you're unaware of this constant mental manipulation, the system will begin to shape your thoughts and behaviors. CIA, DIA, mind control technologies are a weapon system designed to turn the mind control victim into a weapon who will inflict destruction on others or who will self-destruct. This is how they create their shooters and forced suicide victims. Any set of brave ways can be remotely captured and held and perpetually replayed in the mind control victim's brain. The RNM supercomputer remotely captures the motivational impulses of despair, depression, grief, rage, lust, remorse. Then it verifies those emotional responses by locking on to the emotional state of the victim, then constantly provoking the victim into the same set of responses or brainwaves until it can determine a coherent pattern of thought for all seven vectors of the victim's emotion state. The RNM supercomputer uses physical and psychological trauma to map out and reverse engineer the victim's human soul will intellect and emotion to achieve direct behavior control over the victim. Then RM supercomputers using a fabricated and falsified bidirectional stream of electromagnetic low frequency waves, microwaves targeting the cerebral cortex of the victim. Using gang stalking, gaslighting, direct energy torture attacks, sleep deprivation, etc., the RM system forces the victim into a series of emotional responses. Each day as the victim tries to overcome the physical and psychological trauma trying to function to survive. 
the RNM supercomputer then remotely captures all these emotional responses from the victim, downloads each response back to a database at the speed of light, as energy travels at the speed of light in order to build a cognitive model or copycat parallel twin personality of the victim's human soul, will, intellect, and emotion in order to achieve direct behavioral control over the victim. A computer multiplexer routes the signal containing a hidden carrier frequency with a stream of electromagnetic low frequency waves that are specifically tuned to the brainwave signature of the victim to one or three platforms, meaning a tire, satellite, or mobile platform. The tire, satellite, or mobile platform then relays the signal to the digital receiver, similar to how the cell phone technology is deployed. The digital receiver is then tracked and pinpointed in real time, just like a cell phone, except with CIA mind control. The digital receiver is not a phone. It's the human brain. God bless all target individuals. And I hope to um, do some more interviews this week. And so I'm um, uh, looking forward to that. Um, been really, really um, going through it lately. So uh, videos have been kind of scarce. I, that last video was an interesting video, by the way, if you want to go look at that. I thought it was interesting um, what he mentioned about mind control and how they can, how they, government asked for that weapon that they could control somebody and make them drop their weapons or do whatever so anyway god bless all the target individuals uh i hope you got some good info today and i hope you like the information that you got because the reason i do these videos is to wake people up you know i was a lost cause as a target individual um i was uh committing suicide left and right trying temps for some reason god wouldn't let me die and so I was like, well, if I ever get in a position to make videos and tell people what's going on and wake them up and let them know what's understand what's going on, I'm going to. That's why I'm doing this, because, you know, if I'd have had these videos and knew what was going on, I thought I was going crazy. But when I realized it wasn't me, um, it took my suicidal ideations away. So anyway, God bless all target individuals. Y'all have a good day. The best day you can as a T.I.